Hello, and welcome to Robert's Video Gaming Republic here on June the 13th of 2014. I'm Robert, and this is my uh, Electronic Entertainment Expo or E3 uh, wrap-up video. Uh, the reason I didn't uh, do any recording on uh, the beginning of it was I just wanted to kind of take the time out and just let uh, all the reveals and trailers and unveils happen so I can kind of drink it on in and see what they had in store so that this way I could kind of, you know, throw in my two cents. And I have to say, this was a very good E3. Um, they definitely stepped up to the plate and it was definitely about the games this time. Uh, well, at, my, on Microsoft's side, yeah, they, they pushed games. They pushed games in a huge way. Uh, and they unveiled quite a bit, actually. Um, I'm surprised at uh, what they had to show. Uh, a couple of nice little surprises, actually. Um, they brought back a few, uh, dusted off a few old uh, first-party franchises in the form of Phantom Dust and Crackdown. Crackdown was one I was definitely looking forward to. Although it wasn't Crackdown 3, they ended up uh, rebooting Crackdown, which is fine. More Crackdown, all the better. Um, you know, the ever-ubiquitous Call of Duty um, unveil for uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which looked really good. Although I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna temper my expectations with that because it kind of looks almost too good to be true in the same way that Watch Dogs looked really really good when they unveiled that over two years ago. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna temper my expectations. But if the game ends up looking just that good, hey, all the better. Uh, you know, and of course they were also pushing their other new. Uh, uh, original IPs in the form of uh, Sunset Overdrive, which looked the, the the gameplay demo on that was absolutely excellent. So I'm definitely on board for that. Um, they unveiled, uh, let's see, a new one from uh, Platinum, uh, the makers of all things uh, Bayonetta, in the form of uh, Scalebound, which was like some sort of a dragon rider action fantasy combat thing hybrid. Looks pretty interesting. Uh, as far as their uh, online, their their uh, cloud streaming initiative is concerned, I, there wasn't really much talk about that. Um, I was kind of hoping that they would have sort of an answer to uh, Sony's uh, PlayStation Now initiative, but there really wasn't any talk about that. That, that kind of surprised me. Um, you know, another big push with the indie titles, you know, new IPs there. So no, I, I think they, they had a very good show. I think uh, Mr. Phil Spencer, the uh, the new head of Xbox, he he did a, a bang up job. I mean, he's he he's a, he's a good personality to watch on stage. So uh, on Microsoft's end, you know, I would I'd definitely give them an A. Now on to the uh, the two uh, independent uh, publishers there in the form of EA and Ubisoft. EA was kind of weak sauce this time around. Uh, a lot of, uh, well, this is all work in progress videos, mostly, you know, stuff on um, Mirror's Edge and Star Wars Battlefront. And Battlefront, I was really, really hoping to see, like, uh, like a big stage demo, 64 players going eight poop on each other, but now it's just, uh, oh, we're walking through the Lucasfilm Archives Museum, and we're using their assets, and this is where we're at, and we're working on it, and here's some of our early alpha builds and stuff, and it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I guess they, they it's, a, it's a franchise that it's very important to them, and they want to take their time and get it right, and you know what, I would, I'm all for that. T take your time, polish it, make it good. Don't just rush it out there, you know? I mean, don't, don't, don't pull a Battlefield 4, okay? Th 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 this game needs care, okay? We can't uh, just rush it out there and then start patching the hell out of it later on. Uh, now I did not not an awful lot of new anything out of them. Uh, moving on to Ubisoft though, Ubisoft was good. The Assassin's Creed Unity uh, gameplay uh, demo that was excellent. They've incorporated now like a four-player uh, co-op, you know, mechanic into it, and it looks like they reworked the engine quite a bit. I mean, uh, just looking at the movement mechanics, the parkour. Uh, combat definitely looks like they stripped it out and built something fresh. You know, I mean, as far as like movement about buildings, you know, traversing the world. I mean, it looks similar, but you, if you look close, you can see little nuances. They definitely tweaked it a little bit. 
and the setting in um, in uh, 17 what was it 17 65 I think or I forget what the what the date is it during the French Revolution um, that you know looks really good I mean like you know the environments look good the crowds react really good like the 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 crowd AI was incredible. Now moving on from that, uh, you know, their unveil for uh, Far Cry 4 was excellent. You know, that's what I expected. You know, and the Herc's back, you know, and they're all riding elephants and destroying, you know, uh, Chinese militiamen. <laughs> so, that, that was interesting. Um, but the big surprise out of them really was Rainbow Six Siege. You know, that whole playable demo is a five versus five, sort of a capture the flag style um, gameplay where the flag is a hostage and you as the hostage takers have to secure your hostage and defeat the uh, the entry team and get away with your hostage, whereas the entry team have to, well, they got to enter and neutralize the uh, hostage takers at the same time as get the hostage into their control and get her out of there. So. That 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 definitely piqued my interest, you know. So that that was Ubisoft's big end of the show surprise, which m might not have been a new IP like a Watch Dogs or Division, but it was definitely a nice return to form for uh, Rainbow Six. Um, after that come came the big one on Monday night, which was uh, Sony's press conference, and wow, the day unload! Holy ape poop! A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A couple of new IPs. Uh, Bloodborne, which everyone thought, since it was coming from From Software, they were thinking it was going to be a, another Demon Souls, Dark Souls kind of thing. But, uh, no. And, um, oh my god. Uh, a a butt-ton of indie titles. They, they are not joking when they say that they're, they've fostered really good relationships with the indie developers, and it shows. They are really pushing that. And um, on another initiative of theirs, PlayStation Now is really shaping up. I mean, we got a public beta coming out uh, next month, and um, it's looking like that could be uh, something quite interesting. Um, it's their uh, their own uh, streaming service with their own uh, intellectual properties and such. And I think its success will be um, dependent upon uh, you know how seamlessly they can stream the content. I think it's also incumbent upon most people to have good internet in the beginning, so we'll see how that works out. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. My internet here ain't all the best, but uh, we'll see. I mean, if it uh, if it forces me into getting, like, you know, you know, better, you know, faster service, then I'll, I'll definitely, I'll, I'll, I'll go about doing it. But we'll see. But no, definitely, definitely impressive. Um, you know, the big, uh, their, their big unveil for uh, Uncharted 4, that was the their, their grand finale, and oh man, definitely getting psyched for that. Poor, poor Nathan, though. <laughs> Looking a little uh, bedraggled, and none the worse for wear, but definitely been rode hard and put up wet. <laughs> so, this may, from the look of it, it may just be his swan song, so I, I have no doubts Naughty Dog will um, have a, a, a proper and fitting send-off for their hero. But of all of them, I would definitely say A++ for, uh, for Sony. They, they, they knocked it out of the park again. Um, the day after, I, did, I was unable to catch Nintendo's um, big uh, uh, digital conference, their, um, their, Nintendo, their, their big uh, glorified Nintendo Direct. And from what I've heard, though, I mean, they unveiled quite a bit. I mean, they did amazingly have a new IP in the form of Splatoon which is like a little third-person uh, shooter title from Nintendo, of, 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 all, uh, of all publishers. Um, the ubiquitous, uh, there was no Mario game this time around, but there was a new, like, uh, Yoshi title. Uh, some more stuff on Bayonetta. Uh, I think, uh, from what I heard, although they didn't show it at the Nintendo Direct, that uh, Itagaki's new thing, The Devil's Third, is going to be a Wii U exclusive. I saw gameplay on that, and I have to say, I wasn't really wowed by it. It just kind of looked like generic third-person shooter 
upper title with maybe some neat new mechanics, but nothing that was really making me say, God, I gotta have that. Uh, let's see, he unveil for the new Zelda, which is looking a little more realistically rendered, although still kind of a cell shaded look. And it was a real, real pro preliminary look, so more of a tease than anything else. Um, the new Xenoblade uh, is looking really sharp. I have to admit, uh, that when, when I heard that that was coming on out, I was like, ooh, what's this, Xenoblade? So, that and Bayonetta and uh, I guess a few other um, big titles might might make, is making me inch a little bit more towards a possible Wii U purchase. We'll have to see. I mean, again, it's going to be depending upon the software. Software drives these things, and that's ultimately what, what it's going to come down to. Um, overall, I'd have to say a damn good E3. I mean, I, I liked a lot of the unveils. I mean, I'm definitely tickled by Crackdown. Definitely, t definitely tickled by Rainbow Six. Definitely looking forward to Uncharted 4, uh, Thieves' End is the subtitle. And, uh, yeah, no, definitely enjoyed it. So, with that, I'm going to sign off. Um, I'll probably be doing some more little commentary videos on just, like, specific uh, unveils and reveals from the show. Um, as far as game releases for the remainder of the summer, it's basically drought time. There's nothing, so I'm basically working my catalog and uh, trying to knock out a lot of old stuff. I mean, I still have Watch Dogs, which have been, I've been playing that sparingly, uh, just like in little dribs and drabs. I'm warming up to it a little bit more. It's just I'm kind of having to divorce myself from Grand Theft Auto V's control scheme because I'm going into it trying to play it like Grand Theft, but you can't, you can't do that. It's more, of, it's more of a stealth action game than it is just like a, a big, you know, you know, driving and blowing up stuff kind of a title. And I got a whole bunch of, you know, underplayed PlayStation games. I mean, on my play PlayStation 3, I got to try to finish out uh, uh, Infamous and uh, poor Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I mean, wow, it's played through like 15% of it, and that's where I kind of stalled, you know. So I got to hunker down and just for the rest of the summer just work my pile of shame. So... With that, this is Robert of Robert's Video Gaming Republic signing off until uh, the next big uh, gaming news story of the day. We'll see you later.